Hello YouTubers, welcome back to a GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair where my job is to save you money. This morning I'm working on a 2008 uh, Chevy HHR, four cylinder automatic, front wheel drive. This is like you know, one of those deliberate little wagon, pretty cute. Nice setup, I really like the car. So anyhow, what we're gonna be working on, the customer complained that we have an issue with the turn signals turn signal themselves they actually work however okay so the that it they don't release uh oh all right so let's say here right side is working so you turn the steering wheel oh this one doesn't release either oh, i got told the neither okay so that's the problem so we just confirmed this they don't release and go back to center so anyhow so that's what we're gonna do today so i'm gonna bring you along so you guys can learn how to do it in case you have this issue so the only thing i ask in return please if you like the video give it a like leave your comments down below and please subscribe to the channel that'll be great it will help me out to stay motivated creating a new content like this for you guys all right so the repair is pretty straightforward this is the part that I'm going to be using, okay? And again, a quick disclaimer, I'm not getting compensated by Dura Lasso, or AutoZone, or any of these companies. Uh, purchases with our money, so that's it. So that's the part that we're gonna be using. And, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to try it out. All right, so what we're gonna do here really quick, I wanna come here underneath the steering column covers. You, on this vehicle, only have two two bolts okay so they don't look like they're the original ones one of them is a Phillips bolt so it goes here yours might be different I don't know so just remember this that this ones they don't look like they are uh, they are um, original okay next the next one is gonna be a seven millimeter socket okay, let's see there you go seven now the next part is quite easy so you're gonna release so we want to uh, move the steering column okay it's already down and gonna come here pull I'm gonna peel it you can leave this on if you want if you wish this one is the one it might challenge you a little bit but it might not okay now you can lift it again so you can just have enough room Okay, perfect so the next thing that you're gonna do here you're gonna use a screwdriver what is it there it is a little flat screwdriver here and and this area is gonna have a tab right there so you're gonna lift it and on the top is gonna have another tab you're gonna press down and it should pull out but obviously right now this is being stubborn Let's see if I can do it, keeping the camera here without losing you guys or dropping my camera. There's that. There you are. It's coming. Perfect. So we're going to see if I can keep the camera there. Oh, I remember now. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna do, make a video a little bit longer than I was expecting. So you saw me, I, I pull and I lift and twist and comes out. Now I believe we're gonna have to remove the cluster vessel. So for that, we're gonna have to use a, a shore screwdriver here, Phillips head. Don't lose it. They're two the same. So here when I reach and we're going to pull towards us. Pull down. It's gonna hurt with one one hand just be careful not to damage the vessel you don't want to break something and uh, have to 
to buy it lift it pull and that's it we're gonna remove this two clips right there you can press the press there and it's gonna come off here's a little tab there too so we can lift it with our finger uh, I mean well, of course one hand there you go okay cool so this part is out now we're gonna use remove the new one right here and we're going to install it okay so we're gonna install it make sure it goes all the way in now reconnect one two and lastly here this tab press it down there you go it clicks it clicks those two tabs you gotta go all the way up so it can lash there okay now here we can test it okay go done that's how it is guys that's how you do it now I remember this one the old one well as you saw in the, early in the video this didn't come back to the center but the bottom one the when it's tried to the customer was trying to turn left it didn't stay that was the other issue to the right it stay to the left it didn't stay so I needed to hold it with the with the hand of the finger and that is pretty much what it was okay so again so now that it is there so we can start putting everything back here so you can uh, make sure you uh you guide that that's one but like a little guy there so make sure it goes right on the correct area and again as you can see um, um push in here the vessel the left same kind of it's hard to do it's challenging to do one hand it's doable but challenging all right great that is done got to put the two bolts here I want to put this down now this is gonna go that corner first now we can uh, push straight down and look at that done 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 now remember this part right here is going to go behind the vessel right here this back area now we're going to put this let's remove the key now we have to this thing is going to go oh okay probably could have removed that too but usually you don't need to let me put this again it's one hand guys I'm doing everything with one hand sorry if the camera moves too much but like I say I'm doing it with one hand so if I can do it with one hand you guys can do it with both no problem so you should be okay now make sure you line this two here correctly so that way when you press down here the both lash so let me put this thing here I'm trying to take uh, this like a couple minutes only a couple minute video a short video there it is that's center There is everything is lash so you can see there you can see there nice where it needs to go put the two bolts here on top put the two on the bottom 
and that's pretty much it guys for this video that's how you do it if you like the video you find value here please uh leave it a like leave your comments down below and hit the notification bell and the most important part subscribe to the channel once again thank you for watching god bless do your best forget the rest and i will see you in the next video later